What's going on guys? It's a super nice day. Winter is on its way. It's getting close to fall now. It's September and if you live in Minnesota or any of the northern states, you have to get ready for winter. There's just certain things you have to do. And um, I have two of my vehicles that are broke down. I'm into like project cars. It's part of my youth. I just can't grow out of it, but I think I'm ready to be completely done with vehicles. Like if I don't have to work on another car and I can just think about fish all day long, I think that's where I want to be. And these beater, these beater vehicles, like something always goes wrong. Like this truck was my baby. Don't get me wrong. And the motor blew. Yeah, the motor blew. I know I said that, right? And I, and I told myself, yeah, I'm just going to swap the motor. I, I got a Chevy small block. I'm going to swap it. And it just never happens. I always put the fish before anything else. So I think I need to come to matters with reality and just sell all these vehicles. And I just picked up this Mercedes. It's a 73 Mercedes and I love it, but I just, I don't know, man. Like I'm just ready to be done with cars. If I just want to straight work on fish. I got some junk food. Shout out to the jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. God, those things are good. Anyways, um, I've been breaking down tanks in the fish room like I told you guys. And um, here, I'll flip the cam. This is a 40 gallon breeder that I brought out in the yard that is absolutely just overtaken with snails. And I just, I, I tried putting some clown loaches in there to take care of the snails, but it just wasn't happening. So, uh, and by the way, they're just regular pond snails. So don't, nobody get too sad on me. I had to just get rid of them because this tank was just overridden. You can see uh, the snail, um, God, what do you call those things? The snail eggs, uh, God, I can't think of it. But anyways, it's a beautiful thing when you can take a tank out in your yard and just spray it out with a hose and just let the crap go in your yard. I remember when I lived in the city and you couldn't do that and it completely sucked because you had to try and like just do all this in your bathroom or something and it just entirely was terrible. Um, what else is there? By the way, today's video is on angelfish care and I'm going underwater cam. I got a new 4K camera and I'm super excited about it. Um, that is to come. First, I wanna give you guys some updates to subscribers. Um, I moved this 450 gallon tank right by the door. I'm hoping that like when you, when you pay to leave and, come, and when you come in, that this can be a table that you like lean on and transact and so forth and it can be like, I want to find a clear piece of acrylic that will go on top of it. So it's essentially the table. And when you're transacting, you can like look down at the tank. It'll be insane. Anyways, um, I have two racks now. I have them set up and I'm starting to realize how much room I'm going to have for tanks in here. It's going to be insane, guys. Um, 40 feet by 36 feet. And there's a lot of room in here. So I can't quite decide what color I want to do the wall yet, but um, my wife really likes this color. It's more of like a darker uh, aqua green blue, but the purist in me wants to go with like that marina blue that everyone puts on the back of tanks. It'll be super bright in here. Maybe a little gaudy, I'm not quite sure. Uh, what else? I got tons of acrylic tanks that are just waiting to be set up. Guys, it's all coming together. I'm grinding the floor back here. It's all coming together. I'm becoming really excited and it's a lot of work. It's been a lot of work. I haven't been doing a lot of videos because it's just so much work. But anyways, let's get to Angelfish. This is underwater camera action, so I'm excited about this. All right, guys, here's my 75 gallon angel fish tank right now. And it only has angels right now. And yes, there is algae on the glass because I'm not perfect. So let's take the dip in. And by the way, this is 2.7K. This isn't quite 4K resolution yet, but hopefully that's enough to make you guys happy. So the angels are a little timid right now in the corner. Um, I know a way I can get them to wake up. I will feed them their favorite food. And also it's my favorite food freeze-dried brine shrimp cubes sold on Amazon and I know a lot of people make fun of me because I I praise these things up and day 
all day long. Or what did I just say? I praise these things all the time. People make fun of me. Um, but I'm going to show you how much these fish love them. And they went from being all timid in the corner to it's ready to feed. So as far as taking care of angels, and by the way, guys, I'll throw a link in the description box to these Brianstrom cubes. They're sold on Amazon. It's super easy. I'm on the monthly membership. They're sold. They're they're sent to my house once a month, just on a membership. So, um, as far as taking care of angels, they're super hardy cichlids. That's why I love angels. I know that they're somewhat referenced as like a beginner fish, but don't let that fool you because some of the colorations are are somewhat super mainstream and you see them everywhere but you can get into some fancy strains of angelfish that are just crazy like some silver uh silver koi strains and they get super crazy and expensive and i will never ever let go of my passion for angelfish i will always i will always have angels uh all right i'm gonna quit blabbing about that but anyways taking care of angels super easy their diet i just explained you're gonna want to have a uh, heavy protein rich but also supplement in flakes or pellets to make sure they get the vitamins needed and a tank size i would go with a minimum 55 gallon tank because this is a taller fish and angels need a little bit of room to move around so don't put them in a 40 gallon breeder it's too shallow of a tank as you can see with their finnage it's more of like a vertical up and down span of how tall they get this is a tall fish so if you have an empty 55 or a 60 tall this is a perfect fish for that tank I apologize about the camera being a little shaky. I actually have my daughter also with me in a carrier. I'm holding her and she's 22 pounds right now. And she loves watching this, that's why I have her. But um, it's causing me to be a little shaky, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, like I said, tank size, 55 gallon tank. Talked about food. Um, what else is there? Uh, get a good filter, get an AquaClear 110. I'll throw a link in the description box. It's the best hang on the back on the planet um what else is their tank mates angelfish are kind of weird when it comes to tank mates because i've seen angels that will try to kill everything and also on the other spectrum i've seen them super docile and can be kept with anything like guppies garamis or just anything so take it take it with a grain of salt because these fish sometimes just are crazy so common tank mates i always go with are just more angelfish that keeps it real simple what i'll do is stack angelfish in a tank and yes they may become aggressive when they breed but if you have a breeding pair try to pair off and they get super aggressive try to take those ones out or um try to try to just take them out or else add other fish other cichlids that can hold down their own like black convicts green terrors that you know south american cichlids work great because they're not too overly aggressive but they'll still hold their own so guys angels are really easy to take care of i just walked you through it if you have any questions hit up the comments make sure to subscribe um hopefully this underwater footage was cool let me know if you like it and want some more uh let's come out here here's me and avery